If I ask you to name some of the affordable electric cars in Nepal, what would your answer be? Kia Soul EV or the Mahindra E20 Plus? Well, E20 Plus is affordable as it is priced at 22 lakhs, but that's not the kind of affordability I'm talking about. What if I tell you you can buy an electric car at a price of a motorcycle? Intriguing, right? Well, hello everyone, I am Anmol and today we are testing out the new Dahe electric car. In our society, car is a symbol of wealth and power statement. Not everyone is fortunate enough to drive it, let alone own it. But Daha Electric Car is here to change all that nonsense. Theo Group has launched two variants of this very car, DS350 and the DS350L. What are the differences between DS350L and the DS50? We'll talk about it at the later part of our video. First, let's begin with the exterior styling. With a single look, it looks like a Volkswagen Polo, Hyundai Santro and Tata Energy all mixed together as one. We even had few people mistake it for a fuel-driven car. On hindsight, Dahe's boot space is comparatively larger than any other cars in this segment which deserves a big thumbs up. Now you know, this is everything but a fuel-driven vehicle. On the front, you have the logo. You get the blue-colored badging called Dahe. What's so special about this logo? Well, nothing. But I didn't want to point out because it resembles Ford's logo. I don't know what the intention was, but it's there. Moving on, you get those beautiful halogen headlamps, the fog lamps, body color bumpers and the black color front rails. They just make the car look amazing. Now when you think about it, you have a premium SUV like Kia Sportage that don't even offer fog lamps in the base variant, even if it is priced well over Rs. 70 lakhs. But then there is Dahe, which simply offers fog lamps even when it is priced under 16 lakh rupees. Let's move on to the side. It gets 155 x 65 R13 style alloy wheels with this electric wire body graphics. However, the rear side looks like any other car with its rear lights, Dahe badge, rear fog lights and the rear bumpers. Interestingly, DS350 even gets a rear parking sensor along with a rear camera as well. So how does Nepal's most affordable electric car look? It looks damn near beautiful. Currently, we are testing it in a grey color variant but if grey is really not your thing then you can opt for red or a white color variant. Alright. That's it for the exterior now, let's talk about the interior of this car. When talking about the interiors, I kinda have a mixed feelings about it. The exterior beautifully sets the mood whereas the interior fails to live up to it. There's a lot of hard plastic all around and the quality is decent at best. Furthermore, the seating is all mushy and lacks proper support. These are simply a recipe for backache and isn't really the best combination in any car. In terms of comfort and material used, the front seats share a similar story with the rear seat, but it does come with better equipped features. Moreover, the interior feels modern with the likes of standard infotainment system, stylus power steering wheel, USB slot, power socket, small wood finish, AC vents and other controls. Plus, the driver's console provides you with all the necessary details like driving range, battery information and others, which gives it more of a futuristic feel. Furthermore, Dahe 350L comes with 4 speakers, 2 on the front and 2 on the rear, but it does not get Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. However, this isn't a deal breaker as you do get Bluetooth connectivity alongside FM radio, aux input and SD card reader. Moreover, the sound quality for me is decent at best. Other interesting features include the power window, anti collision beam, remote control lock and a working reverse camera. It also comes with ABS which is very rare for a car at this price. Moreover, the car also comes equipped with hill start assist which can be very helpful in uphill roads. That was all about the interiors. Now, let us move on to the hood. The DS350L is powered by a 72V 9.6kWh lithium ion faucet battery. With the power charger, the standard charging time is just 4-5 to five hours. Dahe claims that you get up to 120-150km to in driving range. We tested the claim inside the Kathmandu Valley and got a range between 80-100km. to that is somewhat an acceptable range for an intra-valley electric car. So what does L stands for? It stands for lithium battery. Likewise, DS350 uses a maintenance-free lead battery. While we are talking about batteries, let me show you how you charge it. Yes, it is that easy. If anybody of you are wondering, it is home charging enabled, which means that you can charge this at your home, office or restaurant with a normal power socket. Yes, it is as easy as you charge your phone or your laptop. Let's try to compare the statistics of driving the Dahe electric car to any other fuel driven car. On average, this takes 10 units to fully charge, but the 10 units is for the case of lithium battery. 
For the lead battery, it consumes much less, that is 8 units to fully charge. Given the standard electricity unit price, you get an average of Rs 15 into 10 equals to Rs 150 per full charge for DS350L and Rs 120 per full charge for DS350. When compared to other driving cars, it is considerably cheaper than the amount you would have to spend on fuel. In the longer run, this will be comparatively cheaper to drive than a normal car which is its main selling factor. Alright, that's enough talking then, let's take it out for a spin. It really exceeded my initial expectations. The pickup is good and provides uniform acceleration. However, the top speed is capped at 58 km per hour. One thing that electric cars really outdo themselves is in the pickup and the high electric isn't any different from them. Moreover, the brakes comes with ample stopping power with included AVS which ensures rider safety. Interestingly, this car managed to climb up the hill with 5 hard taking members on board. That really blew my mind. With solely city driving in mind, the suspension could have been better but it will not affect the overall ride quality of your car. If you are wondering how much will it cost, how about the price of a motorcycle sounds? Let me explain. In this never before heard scenario, you'll get Dahe Electric for the down payment of 2.98 lakhs. After the down payment, you'll be getting financing over the time period of 7 years. Before I forget, you don't have to pay anything in terms of annual tax. That's like the sweetest cherry on top. So, when you get a choice between car and a bike, why wouldn't you choose a car, right? That was it for this very interesting car and please remember that Dahe has advertised DS350 and DS350L as city commuter. So you'll get every feature you'll need in this car. So that is all for the review. If you liked our video, hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is me on Mole signing off.